what's up YouTube? We got four big old burrito shells. Alright, so they're layered on top of each other. All four layers have a little bit of that bacon grease to stick all four in the middle together. And I speckled it with more bacon grease. That cheese we're adding to it is a mixture of mozzarella cheese and crushed up Doritos. Now to get our tortillas ready for folding into burritos, we're going to throw these in the oven very briefly for like, you know, just to, just enough to get them nice and pliable. What I did was I took a bunch of nacho cheese Doritos and I layered it with mozzarella cheese, both in block and rustic form. And when it got to about here, like right there in the level wise, I threw it in the microwave and I melted that cheese. And then when that cheese came out in a mozzarella cheese puddle, I took a fork and I just crushed up all those nacho cheese Doritos into that mozzarella cheese. And then I stirred it around and let it solidify into a nacho cheese Doritos mozzarella cheese deal. So yeah, we're going to take <coughs> the Papa John's <coughs> pasta that was sent to me the other night. This is, uh, what's up? No, the Papa John's pasta has barbecue sauce, black olives, chicken, and pineapples. So we're gonna make a uh, pasta chicken stuffed burrito with some goodies. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some of these too. So uh, we'll microwave some of those. Good evening, YouTube. So those burritos are starting to crisp up on the edge right here a little bit because the ends were dangling off. But that'll give us plenty of room to roll the burrito regardless. We're gonna take this uh, Papa John's pasta and we're gonna slap that in the middle. I tried a little bit of that Papa John's chicken pasta off camera. It's actually not half bad. Uh, the fans sent it to me the other night during that wacky fucking stream that I was doing. Where I got all those like deliveries and shit. And I'm like, you know what I'm gonna do with this uh, pasta, you two? I'm gonna put it in the middle of a fucking burrito. Because I can. So there's our Papa John's pasta in the middle, just like that. Next thing we're going to do, those um, Mike Tyson Anytizers, those boneless honey barbecue wings. Make a couple of those in the middle as well. I've already microwaved these. Anytizers are pretty delicious, YouTube. But we're not done adding it. We're going to add our cheese. We've got some of these to snack on for later. And add some bacon bits, some ranch, some barbecue sauce. Now we're gonna add some uh, bacon ranch from Hidden Valley. And with that bacon ranch from Hidden Valley, they give it a nice creamy texture. Uh, got some Vero Gusto. Uh, this this pasta sauce right here. That works. And this pasta sauce is a little spicy, so this will add a little bit of heat to it. That Kraft Slow Simmered Sweet Honey Barbecue Sauce. Not a sponsor. Now that, that chicken's already got a honey barbecue glaze on it. But that'll enhance that flavor nicely. Smoky bake, bacon A sauce. Why not? Made a DNA helix with that. A nice little wicked combo of sauces there, beautiful. Some bacon bits. Oh yeah, we got them bacon bits. Bacon bits, motherfuckers. Sharp cheddar on chop. When you're rolling a burrito, you want to roll it, tuck it in. This is why you don't want to over. This is why you don't want to over uh, over preheat your um, what you might call it your uh, tortilla shells. 
because the edges are really crispy. But that's all right, because we got it. Oh. Now before we uh, add toothpicks to it, we're gonna hit it with some butter. Now this is the secret to making a chimichanga, getting that nice crispy shell on the outside that we all know and love with the chimichanga. And this is what I did last time I made a recipe similar to this. I did a fast food chimichanga, which I ate over the course of several days. And it was delicious, YouTube. So we may have to use like maybe one or two toothpicks to make this work. So the cheese don't just start spilling out when I try to bake this motherfucker. And people are like, we wanna see another cooking video. And the butter don't have to be smeared on there pretty, just plop it on there and coat the entire thing in butter or on country crock in my case. Yeah. Now because it has pasta in it, we're just gonna hit the top of that with some butter. Butter spread, I mean. And a little bit of garlic powder. So I got like three to four chef's toothpicks. So I'm going to stick this side with it. It's ready to go in the oven. What? Barbecued chicken, bacon, pasta, chimichanga. So it's in between the top and the bottom evenly. All right, YouTube, I'll be watching this like a hawk. That's just about chimichanga it up. I'll let it go for a little bit longer. But now that's like a nice golden brown on top. Go ahead and pull these uh, damn toothpicks out. Take a look at that sexy motherfucker right there. That's looking delicious. Cheese on top of our burrito. So I put it back in the oven just to get the show to crisp up a bit more. Get that cheese melted. Get your sexy lover. And, oh, that look good. That look real good. All right. Yeah. Look at the size of this fucking chimichanga, man. I would say it's done. It's crispy. The cheese isn't burnt this time. I got cheese melting down the side of this motherfucker too, dude. Yeah, you too. This burrito's done and it's fresh out of the oven, son. So here's uh, part four. It's done. Yeah, I put the cheese on at the right time. Look at that sexiness. Here's the back end of that that needed to be patched up. Like I said, that's pretty decent. Not too shabby. I got a piece of that fucking baked, baked on cheese. Oh yeah. Let's cut that in half and try a bite. Making a mess all over the floor. Let me pick that up real quick. That's tasty. Oh, YouTube. Even though it's not exactly fresh, because I made it last night, 
I don't care. That burrito slaps.